Hello and welcome to week 34 of the Franken Scrap Crochet Along. And this week we're making the mixed loop piece. So this is pieces made in different loops of uh, the stitch to create this quite a nice textured look to it. So for this piece you're going to be starting with a foundation chain of 48. To start this stitch we're going to start in the fourth chain from our hook and we're going to make a half double crochet in that chain. The first, uh, the turning chain counts as our first stitch. So the half double crochet we've just made is our second stitch. And now we're going to make a half double crochet in each stitch across. So row one is all half double crochet in every stitch. Okay. Once we reach the end of the row, we're going to turn and chain one. In the first stitch of the row, we're going to make a half double crochet. So this stitch relies on the half double crochet having three loops. This one here is your front loop. This one here, well the front loop is actually the third loop, so that's the magic loop. That's the extra loop created because of the half double crochet. So technically this is your front loop here, and then your back loop is back here. Okay, so we're just going to work our first half double crochet into the two normal loops, which is ignoring this front loop, and just working the two regular loops. I'm just going to mark that stitch. Okay, so your next stitch is going to be in this magic loop. This is the very front loop, but this is the extra loop of the half double crochet. And you're going to work into that loop only and make a half double crochet. The next stitch we're going to work in the back loop only, which is this one back here. So we've got the two other loops here, here's the magic loop, here's the front loop, and we're working into the very back loop, making a half double crochet. And we're going to repeat those two stitches all the way across the row. So working in the very front loop, in the next stitch, and then working in the back loop, of the next one and repeat that across the row. This can get a little bit confusing with that front stitch. So you must do a little bit of stitch counting to make sure all stitches are accounted for. But you will have the same number of stitches in each row. Yep. Okay, and the final stitch of the row is made into the regular two loops, which in this case is the turning chain, so we've only got two loops anyway. But in repeats of this row, it will be in the regular two loops. And we do that just to make sure that the sides are stable and they don't come apart when they're pulled. And so you'll get this staggered look of the two different stitches front and back. So now we're going to turn. For row three, chain one and make a half double crochet in the first stitch. Again, make that in the two regular loops, ignoring that very front one, because that's the magic loop, that extra loop the half double crochet creates. And this time we're going to start in the back loop only. So the magic loop of the very front, which is the very front one here, the normal front loop, and then the back loop back here. And then in the next stitch we work into this magic very front loop. In the next stitch we work in the back loop and we continue that pattern. So your stitches are offset from the row below. We continue that all the way across. Mm -hmm. 
and then in the final stitch of the row we're going to work into the two regular loops so we've got a nice stable edge and you'll get this offsetting of where the stitches lie from the row below. So the mixed loop is a repeat of rows two and three. So you just continue the two rows we've just done all the way until you reach the end of your project. To complete your mixed loop piece, you're going to be repeating rows two and three until you have 18 rows in total. Once you finish row 18, you can cut off and weave in your ends, and then it's time to join this piece to the rest of your Franken scrap. So to see where this piece fits and for the full joining instructions, click the link beneath this video and it will take you to the blog post where you can find all the information. And don't forget if you have any questions or just want to join in the chat with your fellow Franken scrappers, then come and join the Facebook group. The link is beneath this video as well. So once you've joined your mixed loop piece, that's week 34 complete. And I shall see you next week for the next piece of the Franken scrap. Bye for now.